There are now 52,057 confirmed cases, including the first case in Nunavut. There are now 3,082 deaths. To date, labs across Canada have tested over 800,000 people for COVID-19, with about 7% of these testing positive. This week, things have been a little flat. COVID curve flat, that is. And that's got us all quite excited about what that means for getting out of our houses. Though, as I have said before, we have to be very cautious going down the other side of the epidemic curve. It would be a whole lot easier if this was a well-trodden path with many who have gone before us. But we are largely new explorers, so we'll need to curb our enthusiasm and tighten the safety ropes for the way down. Already on this path, we've seen some worrisome transmission events emerging. Having learned a lesson about vulnerabilities in long-term care homes, we're now tackling introductions and spread in certain work settings and congregate housing. I am also concerned about increasing numbers of COVID-19 in First Nations communities in several provinces. We must get ahead of things to protect and support these communities, ramping up testing and contact tracing to find where chains of transmission are occurring. And while we make our way down the mountain together, I remain encouraged by the patience, cooperation and kindness of Canadians who are making the path easier wherever they are needed. To raise our spirits and keep us going, I'd like to share a couple of the many inspiring examples of Canadians who are joining the call for volunteers. Some are helping to get needed supplies to the front lines while others are joining the front lines themselves, where possible, to help those in need. Many of these efforts have started as grassroots initiatives by everyday Canadians using their skills, creativity, ingenuity and generosity to help in any way they can. A great example is Conquer COVID that began like the little engine that could in one family's home in Markham, Ontario, until it picked up steam from two of Canada's big names. Olympian and hockey legend Hayley Wickenheiser and actor Ryan Reynolds. They joined forces with Co Conquer COVID out of a shared goal to provide PPE for our healthcare workers. Another Olympian, Joanny Rochette, have just received her medical degree last week, is now heading straight to work to help in long-term care homes in Quebec as they bear the brunt of this epidemic. These Canadians exemplify what it takes to get down this mountain the precision and grit of an Olympian with a can-do attitude and a readiness to help others. To all Canadians who are helping in innumerable ways, thank you. Merci.